Beneath our feet lies an inexhaustible source of power, one humanity has tried to harness for millennia, from volcanoes in Iceland to bubbling hot springs in the US. Even the secret layers of evil masterminds. With liquid hot magma. There are plenty of opportunities to utilize energy from the Earth's core to produce electricity. And it's not a new concept. Even the ancient Romans and Aboriginal Australians tried tapping into geothermal power. Experts believe just 0.1% of the planet's heat content could supply humanity's total energy needs for two million years. But despite the long history and potential benefits, this type of power has yet to be used on a widespread scale. In the US, only about 1.5% of the nation's energy comes from geothermal sources. That's something the Biden administration is looking to change. Geothermal runs day and night. And so with the right investments and incentives, we can increase the power that we generate from, from the heat beneath our feet 47 fold by 2050, 47 fold. Now that is enough to power Texas 12 times over. The White House is investing over $200 million in a variety of plans aimed at expanding and enhancing geothermal energy sources. Their goal, grow this technology enough to generate electricity to power over 40 million American homes. That's more than a quarter of the nation. And it'll come at an affordable rate as well. Geothermal energy is relatively cheap. It'll cost people about half the price of nuclear power while also being both cheaper and better for the environment than coal. The Department of Energy has called geothermal power a clean source that emits only excess steam and small amounts of gas, producing only about one-sixth of the carbon emissions created by a natural gas power plant and 99% less than fossil fuels. So if it's good for the environment and cheap for people to use, why haven't we already started producing more of it? The biggest barrier to the increased use of this technology is the upfront cost for developers. A geothermal plant can be up to 10 times more expensive to construct than a solar or wind farm. The most common way of extracting this energy is through a flash steam power plant. That's when liquids with temperatures upwards of 360 degrees Fahrenheit are pumped up from deep underground. These fluids travel under high pressures until they reach a low pressure tank on the Earth's surface. The change in environment causes the fluid to quickly transform, or flash, into steam. The steam is then used to drive a turbine, which powers a generator, outputting electricity. But building a system that requires drilling miles into the Earth's core takes a significant amount of time. In some cases, developers will have to wait as long as a decade before the plant can get up and running to produce revenue. And this subterranean energy also isn't accessible everywhere, meaning only specific parts of the country are suitable for a geothermal power plant, driving up those land costs. That hasn't stopped President Biden from making some major investments in this sector. Last year, the US produced more geothermal energy than any other nation. And if the investment trends continue, more power dwelling under the Earth's surface could soon be unlocked.